Hey, what's up guys? This is Gary. I'm here to bring you Hot Boys Garage episode 10, where we're going to do a bearing comparison. More specifically, we're going to compare bearings in the rear bearing carrier of an ATV. And we're going to compare your standard dual row bearings that are steel on steel, that is steel races, inner and outer, with steel ball bearings inside, to something that you'd use in an ATV drag quad, which are hybrid ceramic bearings. And that is steel inner and outer races with ceramic ball bearings inside. We're gonna do a spin test side by side to see how each of them compare to each other. A few years back, I did a video on this on my Facebook page. It was a little less organized in this video. So I wanted to put this video together with a little bit more info so you guys could get the real skinny. All right, let's get started. All right, so in the black corner, we've got the little bike. It's got a JJNA solid 34 inch aluminum axle, 20 inch Otsu MR501 radial knobby tires on nine inch Douglas blue label wheels. All of the axle hubs and axle keys are stock. It's got an aluminum sprocket and a steel rotor from eBay. It's the lightest steel rotor I could find. And then in the center is a niche or niche, however you want to say it, rear bearing carrier that you can get on eBay for, I don't know, maybe 60, 70, 75 bucks now. These things are really cheap, but they're actually pretty good. They're billet aluminum. They have dual row bearings in them. And I've used these things for quite a few years and they last and they're pretty good. So as you can see, I've got the chain off. I've got the brake caliper up so that there is no brake drag and that's what we're going to be working with for the black corner okay over in the orange corner we've got the dedicated drag bike it's got a jjna aluminum drag axle that's been cut down a couple inches tires and wheels are 25 12 9 18 staggered extreme sand tires on nine inch douglas blue label wheels all the hubs have been cut down the keyways are aluminum the sprocket and brake rotor aluminum. Pretty much done everything that I can think of to lighten up the rotating mass on the back of this thing. And then in the center, there's a Lone Star Racing rear bearing carrier that's been cut down by GT Performance. And that's Garrett Thompson. I think he's out of Kansas. He's really good at cutting carriers. We also use Big Phil, Phil Anger at PBR and Machining, as well as Kevin Cunningham at Cunning Fab, all excellent machinists. Get your carriers really light. And inside the carrier, on each side, we've got a single row hybrid ceramic bearing from Worldwide Bearings. And these guys are awesome. Dave at Worldwide Bearings, can't say enough good about them. Excellent customer service made in the USA, and their bearings are rebuildable. So, I mean, you can't go wrong with them. So we've got one each on either side, along with a spacer to fill the gap that a dual row bearing would fill. No chain, no brake caliper, so no drag. And that's what we've got in the orange corner. All right, so we're gonna do our spin test. On the right, we've got the black bike with normal steel on steel bearings, that is steel inner and outer races and steel ball bearings, and their dual row bearings. And on the left, we got the orange bike, single row hybrid ceramic bearings, that is steel inner and outer races with ceramic ball bearings. So I'm gonna try and spin both of these at the same time with the same amount of force. Um, I know that's not very scientific, uh, but I am right-handed, so that will probably give the advantage to the black bike. So here we go.
So with the spin test complete, I've got a summary up here on the whiteboard. Our dual row full steel bearing spun for 11 seconds and our hybrid ceramic bearing spun for 54 seconds with an additional 48 seconds of back and forth rock. In addition to the spin comparison, I've got some pros and cons here of each and they're pretty much the inverse of each other. The pros of the steel bearings are cost and longevity and the cons of the full steel bearings are weight and rolling resistance. And then our hybrid ceramic bearings, pros are obviously a lot less rolling resistance, a lot less weight, but they do cost a bit more and in general they don't last quite as long as a full steel bearing does. And to close this video out, I just wanted to make some general statements about bearings and rear bearing carriers. Maintenance is key to getting these things to live a long life. Make sure you grease them often. Check them for wear or play. Check the bearings for notchiness. And if you're pressure washing your bike, don't blast the bearings with the pressure washer. Stay back away from the bearings so you're not loading them up with water from the pressure washer. For your bearing selection, you need to know your application. For motocross, cross country, recreational riding, the conventional steel bearings probably gonna be your best bet. For the drag racers in the sand, dirt, pavement, even out on the dunes on the hill, the weight savings and better rolling resistance of a hybrid ceramic are probably going to be pretty appealing. And when it comes to hybrid ceramics, there are a few different flavors. In my experience for motorsport applications, the zirconium dioxide ball bearings don't seem to last as long as the silicon nitride ball bearings. And many manufacturers also make full ceramics. And lastly, pay attention to where the bearings are manufactured. I've had much better luck with longevity from a bearing manufacturer in the USA, such as Worldwide Bearings, versus getting some cheap hybrid ceramics off of eBay. And so for this episode, I think that's a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. If you like what you saw, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends and family about it. In between videos, you can always check me out on Facebook. Our ATV drag racing page is Hot Boys Racing, H-O-T-T, -T, and my Instagram is at Hot Boys Racing. I'll stick links to both of those in the video description. Thanks for watching.